All right, guys, welcome back to the Minecraft server with Church Mag, another episode of Minecraft Theology. We're over here in our winter biome where eventually, well, that's a little bit of a drop. Eventually, we are going to be building a whole game center over there. Before we do that, this is kind of the perspective of where we're at. We've got some buildings over there by two and five. And then if we go this way, we will have our nether portal that is kind of our quick trip from spawn town. Otherwise it takes about a thousand blocks to get over here. We have our little snowman farm right here. And so if you come out of the nether, you typically come out facing this way. And what we're gonna be doing today is starting the front of our house. Um, and I'm trying to decide the best location because all of this over here is gonna be the games. And the nether port is gonna be right here, but I don't want it. I feel like maybe we need to make a house around the nether portal. I'm not sure. But I'm thinking right here is like the perfect place to get started with our entire house design. Um, so what I figured today we'll do is, is just like last time, we'll get the front of the house done. Um, I'm actually going to pull up on my computer real quick uh, the reference design. So if you don't know, I actually built this house already once on our old server. I was testing it out, and so I've got a little bit of a design idea. I tried some stuff out. I think I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than what we had before. So before we used concrete, um, and we used, I think, dark oak. And I wasn't a huge fan of what it looked like. So I think we're gonna have to try something else a little bit a little bit of glass we'll probably need more glass than this looks like the sun is going down the only people on the server so we can reset this in a minute this place is unlit and therefore very dangerous come on and go nope go so today we're going to be talking about what it means to have trials and faith in the midst of those trials I don't know if you this is a discussion you've ever had before, but I think it's an important one to have. Let's see, we wanna go this way. So how does this work with snow, whoops. Um, so you gotta take the snow off before you can do that, okay. So I guess we'll have to work with that in a little bit. All right, um, so let's get the house. I think I want the door come out right here. We'll do this to make the path. Now let me change my settings real quick. Beautiful. So we'll probably put wood slabs there. Excellent. And then this will lead right into the entrance of the house. Probably have to go a couple more. Excellent. All right, so if this is the house, then let's see, we wanna do Polished diorite. It's going to be a two opening. Let's see, we want to do one, two, three, four. We're going to do this across the side. Beautiful. And I'm going to use the snow because we are in a snow biome, so it would make sense to use snow as the actual walls. I think this will actually look really nice. Four. And then we'll have big windows. Beautiful. And then glass. I could have those sink in, but I'm usually a fan of having it flush. And then it's gonna be a typical frame. So this is gonna actually look a lot, if you know much about architecture, it's gonna look a lot like German design an art design. And then we'll do the same thing over here. 
three, and then this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Beautiful. And that right there is actually the, oh, forgot this area right here. We go up. That's actually the front of the house right there. Now this right here will be one story, but then this over here will actually be two stories. So if I go up one, two, three, four, and then diorite two, three, four, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four. And then connect it across again. And just like last time, boom. Uh oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? Gotta have even cement symmetry. Just go all the way up. <laughs> all right, so let's see how this looks. I do have feather falling, so it's not like it's hurting a lot. Excellent. So that's the beginning of the house. I really like that. Um, I'm not sure what the floors are. I, in fact, I think it's probably going to end up being dark oak down here. Mm, yeah, I think it's going to have to be dark oak down here. And then it'll be one room here, one big room here, and then back here will be like a stairwell to go up. Yeah, I like that. So, conversation about uh, trials and temptation, or trials and faith, just in general. Um, if you, one of the biggest places you can find about the conversation of trials is the book of James. And James is actually the brother of Jesus. Uh, Jesus was the son of Mary and Joseph. Joseph not being the father, but the adopted father, because God is the father of Jesus. And in that situation, um, Joseph of Mary ended up having other children. And James, who initially, when Jesus was young and growing into his ministry, James was talking about how, you know what, this Jesus person, I mean, I know he's my brother, but I don't want to talk about him. In fact, there was times where James actually, actually denied being the brother of Jesus and denied, um, I, don't, I can't remember if he went as far as to deny the sovereignty of Jesus, but... James and Jesus were very much at odds at one point. Um, and so there was a lot of scorn there. There was a lot of frustration that happened there. And so uh, you could tell that James regretted, I think that is not too strong of a word, regretted who Jesus was. Um, cool. Cool. We're definitely not going to have enough glass, but that's okay. Like it. I think I can just keep with this pattern going. Um, and so I think it's it's James was definitely in a tough position because I don't know how I would be if Jesus was my brother. I honestly don't. I would love to pretend like oh I would absolutely know Jesus I would support him but I don't know I'm not sure but once they grew up once Jesus eventually died on the cross James became one of the most powerful voices in the Christian um, movement and did die um, in fact he had asked to be um, crucified upside down because he did not feel like he deserved to die as his brother did um, because he felt much less than him. And, and so there's this whole um, letter that James ends up writing to the church um, back in that day. And in the book, or yeah, in the book that he writes, he talks about how he thinks that um, the Christian nation needs to do more for their faith. And so here's James chapter 1. Um, where the letter was actually written from. So it says, Consider pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, 
Let perseverance finish its work so that that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in what they do. And so this idea of faith and faith within trials, next time we talk, the next episode will be about faith and works. And so this episode about talking about faith in the midst of trials, I think is really important because you need to have that faith. You need to understand what it means to um, be within the mindset of what God would expect of us. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to extend this out. Yeah. And so we need to ask. um, It's very clear that that's something that we need to do as Christians through our prayers. But we need to ask with the belief. Um, There is a little bit of concern in modern Christianity in the American church right now where um, there is the prosperity gospel where we ask and it will be given to us. And so all we have to do is ask for an airplane and a house and our college tuition to be granted to us. And then God will give it to us. And that's not how it works. Yes, you um, need to have faith. Yes, you need to do that. But then if we go back to our conversation a couple of weeks ago on the idea of calling, um, we need to also recognize that that also might be very contrary to what we actually want. That God puts in our hearts what we actually want for ourselves. And we so we have to be open to that no matter what it is that God has for us. All right, so I think actually back here, we're going to go up more. So give me a second. Let me do some testing with the floor, and then I will jump right back. All right, guys, so here is what we've got so far. Ooh, we're going to need to sleep soon before the mobs come. But it is now laid out. There will be a second story. We'll have to take care of that later time. I might even do it on a stream. Um, So this will be a full length here. Um, This will be just like that. There will be like a standing platform, like an outside patio kind of thing. But then the back part of it will actually be a second story. And then if you come in here, I'll talk about the floors in a second. But this will be a room. I'm not sure exactly what yet. This will be a room that goes up to the second floor and over there, as well as go down to a basement where we'll have our huge storage system. Um, This area will be a dining room and a kitchen. Um, I don't know if you saw it the last, the season three opener. And then in here also will be a balcony where my bed will be. Um, So it'll just be a balcony. It'll probably end maybe right here and it'll overlook the dining area, but that's what that's going to be. I also have a different idea for what our entrance is going to be. So I want to test that out here in a second. Let me take a quick nap. Before the monsters get me, ah. Okay, get them, get away from me, get away. All right, so my idea is I wanna do a different kind of path for me. Oh, well I fell here. Um, Actually, this is what I need, but I don't wanna take it from here. Um, I wanna do a different kind of path where I'm actually using ice for my path. So if we come out here to where the water will actually fill it up, give me a second. Now that everything comes and rises, this will actually work. There we go. Oh, it doesn't fill back up. No, I'm gonna have to fix that later. Cool. Excellent. Beautiful, we even got some clay down here. There we go. Now it's fixing itself. Beautiful. What if we did this? Nope, still nothing. All right. Well, we got enough ice for now. Let's pick all this up. I'll just have to come over here with a bucket. But I figure instead of having that um, worn path, we can have the worn path from... um, the front area, but then for our own 
fun are the games that we're going to, the entrance into the park, from our house to the portal, those type of things we can use this ice. So let's try it just right out in front of our house just to see how it looks. So what we'll do is we'll just take out all this. Beautiful. Yeah, I like that. I don't know if we need to put something below the ice to make that look better, or if we'll just leave it like this. I'm not 100% sure. So in talking about trials, in talking about, ooh, we may need to fix that. In talking about trials, one of the things I think is really important is just understanding that our trials are not necessarily from God. They're not necessarily from Satan. Sometimes they're from our own aspect. They're from our own failures. They're from our own decisions that we've made. And I think it's really important to recognize that. But sometimes they are um, something that God has given us to develop. And sometimes they come from Satan. I don't necessarily know how much we need to differentiate that. We just need to approach what we do in life with the utmost understanding and humility and everything that we have in life. And whenever we go into those situations, we need to talk to God. We need to be in communication with him in prayer. And we really need to make sure that we're humbling ourselves through that whole process. I think all of that's very, very important. So I'd love to know for you guys, what is your approach to humility? And what do you think of these two floors? I think I'm going to go with this one just because it's standard. But this is a bunch of stripped um, dark oak wood. Um, so you can strip the wood off of it just like you could with these. Um, and I kind of like it. I just don't like that little line that's on the edge. If that line wasn't there, this would be the perfect design. But I think I'm going to go with this. So next episode, we'll have already have this floor done. We'll probably have the second layer done. We'll put on all that stuff and maybe even the roof, get a little designing going, and then we got to put some paths down. And maybe we'll come up with some ideas of what to do underneath the ice too. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you think about faith and how does that play into our trials. Uh, what do you think about the trials themselves? How does that play into your understanding of James? I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Bye.